Well, city water crews had their hands full after this water main broke on 16th Avenue, sending water rushing down onto Highway 195, turning lanes into an ice rink. Several people were surprised to wake up to a hole in their road and faucets that wouldn't work. KXY Force Kyle Sinchuk working for you. Live where well, he's live in studio. Tell us about that water, Kyle. Well, Aaron, the city says that uh, those cold temperatures cause the ground to freeze, it moves, and then that weight is enough to crack cast iron water mains. Confusion on Nettleton Lane this morning. Girlfriend woke me up, rolled me out of bed, showed me a Snapchat from our neighbors <laughs> saying, you really got to see this. And I'm like, no, no, I'm waking up. And she, no, you really have to see this. We went to go use the water and it just uh, kind of trickled. I was like, oh, the pipes must, must have froze. Neighbors didn't have to look far to discover why their faucets ran dry. And I looked out the window and saw that the road was like completely up and water was like literally gushing out like all the way onto the freeway. Highway 195 turned into an ice rink. DOT crews scrambled to chip the ice off and up the hill city water crews dug with shovels and backhoes until they unearthed the 12 inch cast iron pipe. It was gravely wounded. Everyone's like thirsty. Nobody can you can't really do anything. Neighbors without water wondering how long a repair could take preparing for the worst. I expected like a month. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it would take a very long time. So like, we got to go get a truck full of water. Water to make coffee, brush teeth, and for man's best friend. The dog's thirsty, so I had to get her some water. So she'll be all right. We'll melt some snow if we run out. Now, fortunately, it did not take months. A neighbor just texted me about an hour ago saying that their water is finally back. Live in studio, I'm Kyle Simchuk, KXLY4 News. Well, good to know. Thank you, Kyle.